Okay, we're on Sanhedrin, Perik Zion, Mishnah Hay. Fifth Mishnah in the seventh chapter of Sanhedrin. We're continuing to delineate the sins that, are, that would cause a person to have skila, to be executed by stoning. Hamigadev, those who blaspheme God. What does it mean to blaspheme God? Enochayav ad shifaresh Hashem. He has to explicitly say, use the name of God, blaspheme God, explicitly. Moreover, the Bartunera says, Vivarech Hashem. Bishem, you have to curse God, Aleph Dalid Nun He, with the name of God, that God should curse God. And the, 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 the mission is going to explain how. Shanem, as it says, Vinokev Shem Hashem, you nokev, designate the name of God, you curse the name of God. Binokvo Shem, okay, the, we learn out, Binokev to, 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 Nokev is like point out the name of God. Let's look at it explicitly. There we go. Vinokev Shem Hashem, Motumat. Ragom There you go. That's stoning explicitly. He that blasphemeth the name of Lord. But nokeh means to designate, to spit, to, to point out the name of God. And you have to be nokvo shinkov Hashem b'shem. You have to blaspheme God with God, though, because only God could curse God. Okay. So therefore, megadev eno chayav ad shifaresh Hashem. You have to explicitly say the name of God. Alef dalid nun yud. I'm Rabbi Yosher. So so, and they, they have to go into court. But how do you do it? Because how do you testify? That uh, that uh, blasphemer would blaspheme God without blaspheming God. I'm Rabbi Yeshua ben Korcha. I said, Rabbi Yeshua, the son of Korcha, b'chol yom danin et ha'idim b'kinui. Okay, every day the edim, the the judges, they 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 judge the witnesses. I mean, the witnesses they testify b'kinui with a with a paraphrase. Yake yosi et yosi. What so they say? What did he say? He said yake yosi et yosi. They, they'll, they'll say they said he said that that adoshem. That 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 Hashem that Elokim should curse Adon Hashem. I mean, you don't say the actual thing. You say Yake Yosi et Yosi. But Nigmar Adin, okay. When the Nigmar Adin, when you want to do the final judgment, Largi Mikinu, you can't kill a person based on testimony. Maybe you really said Yosi et Yosi. Ela Motzi Kol Adam Lachutz. You take everybody out. Vishoalim et Gadol Shebehem. Meaning you don't want everybody else there. You only you don't want everybody to hear this terrible thing. Okay. Rather. You take you take everyone out. Why you take everyone out? You don't want everyone to hear the actual cursing of God. When you ask the elder of the witnesses, they say, tell it exactly what you heard explicitly. He says, he says, I heard X, Y, Z. And the, and the judges stand up, and they tear kriya, meaning blaspheming is a terrible thing. God, how can anybody do that? Below me'achim, that kriya, they can never le'achid. They can never, they, once they rend their garments, they tear their garments and they can't sew it up again. Vasheni omer, afanikamo, the second guy who heard it says, I heard the same thing. He doesn't have to say it again. Actually, see, if there's another person, if there's a third person, omer, he says, afanikamo, I also heard the same thing. All right, we'll stop here, dedicating our learning. Remember, you're my father, Rav Zimra, Have a great day.